Hello there! Today I will be listing all of Reina Avila Ramirez Ayano's abilities within all the books that she appears in. <laughs> wow, that name is a mouthful, huh? <laughs> so that means I'll be using the Heroes of Olympus series and the Trials of Apollo series as reference. So yeah, minor spoilers for those books ahead. And the last thing to note is that if you've seen my other abilities videos, you will know that these are abilities that are only derived from the original source material. So sorry my lovely viewers, no fanfiction powers here. <laughs> Alright, no further explanation is needed. Let's get into this. Reina is the child of the Roman war goddess Bellona. You know, having any war god or goddess as her parent turns out to be quite beneficial when it comes to the powers they give, because Reina has an awesome ability called Empowerment. This ability allows for Reina to lend her strength to others. What this means is that if she is commanding troops, or if she is in physical contact with another person, then she can use this power to transfer her natural abilities, such as her strength, courage, endurance, etc., to others so she can power them up and boost them in battle. Or boost them with any task, really. <laughs> A thing to note is that those attributes she gives get multiplied by the size of her forces, so it is most effective with more people. Though, Reyna is a very strong person, both mentally and physically, so even with a few people, she can amplify their abilities greatly. I mean, this power is pretty freaking great for Reyna because she is literally the commander of the army at Camp Jupiter. So yeah, this ability definitely comes in handy. <laughs> However, a side effect Reyna gets from this power is that she feels the emotions of those she gives her strength to. This will give her a temporal wave of exhaustion, and the level of that exhaustion depends on the intensity of the emotions she felt. Also, another side effect she gets from the power is that her SBQR tattoo burns whenever she uses the ability. Now, getting burned and feeling everyone's existential crisis is personally not how I'd spend my afternoon, though having an ability to power up people is definitely worth it in the end, if you ask me. If Reyna wasn't already a force to be reckoned with, then this next power definitely seals that deal. This ability is called Weapon Mastery. The power allows for Reyna to learn and use any weapon quite easily. And yes, I do mean any weapon because weapons are tied with war. And you know, like her mother's a war goddess, so yeah. So whether Reyna wields a sword or a bazooka, just assume she'll kick your butt with it. <laughs> Let's switch this up a bit, shall we? The last two abilities were given to her because of her heritage to Bologna. This next power, however, is not from the war goddess. It actually comes from her status at Camp Jupiter. The ability is called Praetor Undead Control. This allows for Reyna to control the undead. However, it's not as powerful as Nico D'Angelo's version of this power, because Reyna is restricted to controlling only Roman legionary spirits. So yeah, if you want a more detailed explanation of this ability, then go check out my Frank Zong abilities video. Now, there's an important thing to mention about this ability for Reyna. She doesn't have this power anymore, due to her resigning Praetorship in the Tyrant's Tomb Book. This means she can't control undead Roman legionaries anymore. <laughs> However, losing this ability doesn't really matter because she gained a new power in the process. And this new ability is pretty freaking amazing. It's a very popular one actually, for a good reason. So I'm glad to be finally talking about her hunter abilities. Reyna had become a hunter of Artemis by swearing an oath to the Huntresses. This gives her a ton of new powers. Let's start with her immortality, shall we? <laughs> So Reyna is immortal, which means she will live for eternity and stay young forever. Pretty sweet deal, huh? <laughs> However, it's important to note that Reyna's immortal, not invincible, so she can still get injured or even die in battle. Also, she can lose his immortality if she either chooses to stop being a hunter or if she falls in love. Pfft, who needs love when you can just be 16 forever? Am I right, Percy, or am I right? Though, immortality isn't the only power that she gets. A second ability Reyna gets by being a hunter is that she's slightly stronger and faster than a regular demigod. And demigods are already pretty freaking fast and strong, so yeah. A third power Reyna gets is that she can communicate with all animals loyal to Artemis. This includes creatures like wolves and hawks, so she got wild animals as pets. Cool, huh? And finally, the last hunter ability Reyna has is that she's immune to all kinds of disease. Because when you got immortality, extra strength, and animal communication powers, having disease immunity is just an awesome cherry on the top. So these are all of Reyna Avira Lamirez Alilano's abilities. Reyna may not have many abilities within the series, however she's probably one of the most mentally strong individuals within the Riordan verse, so if you ask me, that's the greatest ability of all. Though she's also a hunter, so she's kind of overpowered anyways. <laughs> 
As always, if you enjoyed, then please leave a like and subscribe for more of this content. If you want more in-depth character abilities, then please comment down below. So yeah, like always, stay awesome and thank you for watching.